Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and I'm doing a Disney Springs haul today. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've been building, some of the Legos I've been building, some things that I've been buying because Prime Day was yesterday and the day before. So I've been buying some things. Some things aren't here yet, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've been into, all the things I've bought. As you can see by the title of this video, there is one big thing that I got at Disney Springs that I am the most most excited to unbox in this video. So stick around for that. It's not gonna wait until the end, but it's gonna be at the end of the things that I got from Disney Springs. So yeah, stick around. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm so excited. I've never had anything like that before. Let's get right into it because I'm so excited to show you guys all of these things. What should we do first? This is so fun. This is so fun. I have all the things right here in front of me. Let's start with the small things, the small things. So some of these things aren't exactly Star Wars, but they are Disney stuff. And I told you guys in my get to know me video that I like Disney things. So going to Disney Springs is really, really fun. I'm from Florida and I get to go to Disney Springs whenever I really get the chance because it's so fun and they have multiple Star Wars stores. So yeah, it's a good time. If you haven't been, you have to go. One of the first things I got was this. It's a postcard from the shop at Disney Springs it was called Trendy, I think. And they had like this whole section in there of art that they have from different artists kind of make their own versions of Disney movies and stuff like that. I don't know how to explain it, but I saw this one. I absolutely love Moana. It's one of my favorite princess movies, and I got this one because her and her grandma are so cute, and it reminds me of my grandma, so yeah, I wanted to get this so that it's a postcard, but I'm still gonna frame it. But yeah, so this is the first thing that I got, and I love it. I think it's adorable. And then I went to, they have a Ron John surf shop there, and I love those clothes. Love it. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the shirts that I got. I haven't even taken the tags off yet, so that's how new this is for you guys. This is the, it's just like a blue tank top that I love. It has like a little twisty back and everything, and I tried it on and I loved it, and it's super cute, and I can't wait to wear it all the time. I got this. I don't know if you would call it a bralette or if you, it's just like a top. <laughs> it's just this top. It's like this gray bluish color. I'm gonna be wearing it to work out, and I'm excited about it because I don't have anything like that to work out in. I got this. It's just an anklet from Pura Vida. It's this peach orangish color. Anklets are the only thing that I really wear as far as jewelry every single day. I always have an anklet on. It's just one of my favorite things. They were kind enough to give us this sticker, this Ron John sticker for everyone that was making purchases. So that will probably be going on my car. One of the main reasons we went to Disney Springs was to try out, I think it's the Galaxy's Edge VR thing that MetaQuest was doing. I think it's a Oculus game that came out and it's a Star Wars VR game, virtual reality game. And if you go in there, you can get like an eight minute tutorial of the game and you get to play it a little bit and everything. So my experience with that, I went into it thinking it was going to be completely different than it was. I didn't know that you'd only get eight minutes to play the game. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was okay. It, it was just okay. I Maybe VR just isn't for me, but the game was, mm, you know, like it didn't blow me away. It was okay. And the VR thing that was on me, the woman, she was so nice, the woman that was helping us, she put it on my head and I like couldn't see the whole time because it was super blurry. And I was like, oh, is it supposed to be blurry? And she's like, oh, and she kind of lifted it up so that I could actually, it was clear, more clear. It just wasn't sitting on my head right. So for most of the game, I had could not see anything that was going on because it was so blurry. But it's okay. It was fun to experience that. It just let me know that I'm not going to be buying a VR headset or any Oculus games. So we took a survey afterwards and we were able to get these... <laughs> coasters. So yeah, I got this coaster. It has, it's like a meta quest coaster with a little picture of the game and someone playing the game and everything. So yeah, that was the whole reason why we went. And then that was like eight minutes of our day. And then we just went around shopping everywhere. So yeah, it was really fun. And then I went to the galactic outpost and I got a few things. I got this bust of Darth Vader and I think it's so cool. It was only $20. It was literally only $20. I expected it to be more for Star Wars and for Disney prices. That's really, really good. They had this one, which I really like. I hope it's in focus. Like I said, I'll put pictures around here so you guys can see it up close and everything, but I think it's super sick. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I was having a hard time choosing because they have that one. They have Darth Maul. They have Palpatine, Yoda, Darth Bane, and I think that was it that I saw, but I was really contemplating between Vader and Maul. Vader wins, like always, at the end of the day for me. I love Vader, so I got 
love Vader. I'll probably be going back for more because they were really cool. So if you guys have the chance to go to Disney Springs, you should definitely go and look for these things because, I mean, look at it. It's so cool. It will probably be going up here in my setup so that you guys can see it all the time. Before I forget, shirt check. Today I am wearing my Boba Fett shirt. It says Boba Fett Bounty Hunter. And he's just like a little cartoon version of Boba right here. I think it's super cute. I got it from Five Below. Like I get most of my shirts from Five Below. But I always want to let you guys know where I get them because maybe you want to go in too. Moving on. The next thing I got, we went to the Lego store because we always have to go to the Lego store. It's one of the best places there. And and it's hard for me to choose what I want from the Lego store. But at this point, I know you guys have seen, some of you have seen on my Instagram stories, I've been taking you through the Lego helmets that I've been building and I actually finished all of them. I have all of them. So I'll show you guys all of them in a later video. I was looking through cause now I'm starting on new things and I didn't know what to get. And then I saw this. It's incredible. It is the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. I'm obsessed with the Naboo Starfighters. And then when they introduced this ship for Mando in the book of Boba Fett, I loved it. Insane. Wizard. Wizard. It's so cool. It comes with Mando and his dark saber. We have Grogu right here, Pelimoto, and a BD droid. I love that the BD droid is in it. Yeah, I'm really excited to build this. It looks really, really cool. I honestly didn't even know that they had this at all so when i saw it it was kind of like a no-brainer for me so yeah the lego mandalorian and one starfighter easiest purchase i've ever made i think now's the time to open the helmet that's everything i got from disney springs other than you know what's coming here it is i haven't unboxed it yet i went two days ago you guys and i haven't opened it yet so that's how much i really wanted to show you guys my raw reaction to unboxing this. It is the Black Series Bo-Katan helmet and I could not be more excited to open this right now. At Disney Springs they had this one and they had uh, Boba Fett's helmet but the Boba Fett helmet that was there was his remade one that was cleaned up that was in the Mandalorian after he got his armor back and he cleaned it and got it all fixed up. Yeah that and I didn't really want that one because I have more of a liking for the original trilogy Boba Fett helmet so if I I were to get that helmet I would want the older version. Bogatan's helmet is just so so cool. We're gonna unbox this right now. Bear with me because I'm just using these random scissors that I have in the house so there we go. Okay I'm gonna try and show you guys everything that's going on so I just open it. So it's kind of like in a bag right here. I'm gonna pull out the smaller things first. Oh this is her little viewfinder. I don't know if that's the actual technical term. I think it's a viewfinder, but I don't. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know what else to call it. Ugh, I just love the weathering on all of this stuff. So yeah, this is the thing that sits on her helmet and it like, oh, wrong way. And it can come down like that. Yeah, so we'll be attaching that in a second. I hope this isn't too hard to put together because then I'll have to have Parker, my boyfriend, put it together. I found the instruction manual, so hopefully we won't be needing that because I think it's, for the most part, it's already put together. There we go. I'm sorry if this, the crackling is really loud. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> okay, here we go. cool you guys this is so cool you can't tell me that this isn't sick the weathering and just the way that it feels and on the inside i would think you can see in there i'll zoom in if you can't and the inside it has an adjustable head strap so that you can actually put it on i will be putting it on in this video you can't get mad at me if i wear it for the rest of this video you guys oh my gosh i love it i'm obsessed with it honestly i'm gonna put it on in a second and i i need to attach this though i'm a little bit nervous to attach this let's see if i'm capable of doing this by myself should i read the instructions <laughs> Or should I just shove this on? It can't be that hard. Ha! That's right. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. All right. Should we put it on? Let's put it on. Okay. Am I Bo-Katan? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Hang on. And then I think there's a button you push. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. I saw the lady at the store. She was showing it to us and she like kind of, I don't know if I can do it with it on. You can like slide this piece off and then there's a light. But oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cool. 
I'm making it fog up in here because it, it, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to look in the mirror behind. <laughs> oh, I look so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's not that big of a deal, you guys, but it's, it's a big deal to me. It looks really, really good, honestly. It's not uncomfortable to wear. Yeah, and the straps, I think the straps are pretty easy to use. And I can see through it easily. You push this button right here for the viewfinder to come down. And then this thing right here. <sighs> Give me a second, because I don't want to mess this up and break it while I'm filming. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be? Oh. Uh... <laughs> So you have to put batteries in this. That's expected. Yeah, you do have to put batteries in this for the light to come on. Okay, now that I've read the instructions and I got too ahead of myself because I wanted to immediately put it on, there's this piece right here that was right here. It comes on it and then you can just pull it right off and it's really easy to take off. And then this is where the batteries go right here. And I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. Hang on, it's off. We have taken it off. And then it said that we needed, oh, just one AAA battery. I'm gonna put it in right here. I'll show you. I'm putting it in right there. And then I'm gonna screwdriver this back on. We're gonna skip through that because you guys don't wanna see me struggle with the screwdriver. It's back on there, nice and tight. We're gonna take this piece and I'm pretty sure we can just, yep, really easy. Put it right back right there. And then we're gonna take the viewfinder thingy aiming mechanism and we're just gonna snap it back on like I did before there we go oh and then you push the button it comes down I can already see the light on wait I'm sorry I gotta put it on oh that's so cool like I can see the light on from right here I gotta take this off so that I can actually do it but can you see that that's so cool and then you slide this piece off <laughs> No, because I can actually see through the viewfinder. It's a little bit like high up. It would need to be like more this way for me to actually see. But if I put my head down, I can see through it. If I, yes. Oh my gosh, that's better. If I just, yeah, I can actually see through it, you guys. And then does it turn off if I put it back up here? Yeah, that's so cool. Amazing. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made in my entire life. Let's put this back on before I lose that. It just slides right off and snaps right back on. If you guys are looking to buy a Black Series helmet, I don't see why you wouldn't at this point. Not to say that every single helmet is amazing because obviously this is my first one and I'm not an expert on these things, but just as me, who's never had one before, I'm in love with this. I can tell you right now, the Bo-Katan helmet is worth it. It was $140 with tax, it's 150. The very, very kind woman that was working at Disney Springs, we got it at the Star Wars Trading Post. She gave us a $28 discount. She said, don't tell anyone, I'll give you guys a discount, which was so nice. She did not had to do that. She had no reason to do that. I went halvesies on it with my mom because I was probably not going to get it because I was like, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. I, I have a hard time spending money. The, this video does not show that at all, but I do have a hard time spending money. So I spent $70 on it. 70 bucks for this insane helmet. Where am I going to put it? That's an issue for later. The, the real thing is that I have it. That's the only thing that matters is that I have the helmet. What now? Like nothing, nothing in the rest of this video is gonna beat that, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. The next few things I'm gonna show you guys is just some things that I've built recently and finished. So I'm talking about Legos really <laughs> and some things that I've bought recently like on Amazon or whatever. The first thing that I built and finished was the Red 5 Lego helmet. Luke Skywalker's X-Wing helmet. Amazing. It was kind of hard to build. I'm not gonna lie. If you can see the yellow piping right here, Parker, my boyfriend and I, we had like an issue <laughs> with trying to get this on because when we would, the instructions said to put the back part on first and then wrap it around and attach this down. And these were so like tight, the resistance, it was so tight that it would fling it back off. So Parker had to like come help me because I was getting frustrated with it. And he had to bend it and hold it there, you know, like train them to stay that way so that when we put it on, it wasn't coming back off. <laughs> So I think this helmet is really, really cool. It's honestly a really nice change from the rest of the helmets that they have come out with. You know, all the other helmets are kind of like full face. They completely cover your head, their head. And I really like that this one is different and I really like that it's Luke. I'm gonna put this down gently because I'm so afraid to ruin it and then I'll have to start over again. The next helmet that I built is the Dark Trooper from The Mandalorian and his head kind of like tilts up and down. 
but I think he is really, really cool. I didn't expect them to come out with this helmet, but then when I actually saw it, I was like, okay, that actually looks sick. If you guys are on my stories on Instagram, you saw me go through building Red 5, and then I took pictures of me like going through building this and I forgot to post them, so I'm really sorry. I can still post them if you guys want me to. The red is really cool. I think something really cool to get would be on Amazon. I've seen that some people have made these light fixtures and things that you can attach to these to kind of make it glow and make the eyes look cool and everything. And I think that'd be really cool to have with this helmet specifically. They make them for a bunch of different helmets, but it's kind of pricey from what I've seen. So I won't be buying that anytime soon, but yeah, those are the two helmets that I've gotten. They're the last two helmets I've gotten. I've built all of the rest of them. I can show you guys that in a later video. I know you guys have said that you're interested in seeing my entire Star Wars collection and I will definitely do that video so if that's what you want to see next let me know because I don't have a problem with doing that at all. I'm building this right now. It is the Bad Batch attack shuttle. I think they call it the Marauder. I think it's really cool. I've been wanting it for a long time. My birthday was in April and my friends all pulled their money together and got this for me and I'm so thankful and I'm finally building it. So I am currently working on that. I will definitely post that on my story because when I'm finished with it because it, it's gonna look so cool. I'm excited about it. Another thing that I'm working on, it's really big. It's hard for me to stick to one thing at a time. I don't know why. Like I need to just sit down and finish this. It is the Imperial Light Cruiser. I'm not gonna turn it sideways because I have stuff in it, but it's from the Mandalorian specifically. I, I'm pretty sure it's Moff Gideon's light cruiser. Yeah, because Moff Gideon is right here holding his dark, the dark saber. It comes with Cara Dune, Mando, Grogu, and a dark trooper. I think it's really, really cool. This this was also a gift. It was a graduation gift for me. I just graduated college and my professor had no reason to get this for me, but he decided to get this for me because he, we have a shared love for Star Wars and Legos and we talk about it all the time. So he decided to get this for me. It's so very kind of him and I love it and I'm continuing to build it. And I will of course be showing you guys the end product when that is finished. <sighs> okay, moving on, moving on. I got a few things in the mail. They are not related to Star Wars, but I did order Star Wars things for Prime Day yesterday yesterday and the day before. So I will be coming back either on here or on Instagram to show you guys what I bought. Let me know which you would prefer. I got this uh, on Prime Day. It is a strawberry cow crop top. Oh, you guys, it's perfect. It's so cute. I didn't get to show you guys in the last video, but my mom crocheted me a strawberry cow. It's right here and it's adorable and I'm obsessed with it. I asked her to make it for me and she did and it's so soft and squishy and it has a little strawberry on her belly. Yeah, I love cows. They're really, really cute and I wanted a strawberry cow. Yeah, I saw this shirt on Amazon and my mom decided to get this for me too. So I think my mom should start an Etsy shop for all of the things that she crochets because they're really, really cute. She makes all crocheted little animals. If you can see, he's back there. It's Grogu. I showed him on my story on Instagram before, but she made Grogu for me and he's adorable. So let me know in the comments if you think my mom should make an Etsy shop because I think the answer is yes, that's the only answer. Back to this, this was $60. I didn't think it was that expensive for a Lego set, so it was a no brainer for me. I forgot to tell you the prices of everything, so I'm gonna go back through. This anklet was $8. I told you the, the Vader bust was $20 and I told you the Bo-Katan helmet was $140. This was $24 and then this was also $24. And then the postcard, the Moana postcard that I got was $6. You guys, I think this was a really good haul. A, a bunch of these things are gonna be in the background of my videos from now on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing this actually. Getting my raw reaction of opening this helmet, so much fun. Guys, comment down below what your favorite thing from this haul is. Let me know what Legos you're working on. What did you buy on Prime Day? Let's talk about it. I love talking shopping, you know? And let's talk about the Black Series helmets. Do you guys have one? Do you have this one? Do you like this one? Do you not? Let's talk about it. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for all my new followers that I got on Instagram. Like I said, you guys should definitely be following me on there because I keep you super up to date with what I'm doing on my Instagram stories. So if you wanna follow me on there, it is at It's Laney B. I also made a TikTok, which I haven't posted on yet, but I will be posting on soon. It is at Laney Byers. I'll put it right here and I'll put it in the description and I'll put it everywhere so that you guys can follow me on there. There are big things coming. I'm excited to keep on growing with you guys 
guys and thank you so much for your support if you like this video if you like star wars if you like this helmet make sure to like subscribe turn on post notifications and you won't miss a single video that i post and i might be doing every single video in this helmet from now on so i will see you next time bye